Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, welcome back because we are on episode three. Episode three of season five of Love Hate. Episode three of the final season of Love Hate. Episode three of six episodes of the final season of Love Hate. So we are coming to the end, right? In a, yeah, this is, this is, um, yes, a season's, um, a season's heating up, right? They're, they seem to be throwing everything out at them. Last episode, last episode, Fran finally found out that Nidge fire bombed his house, pipe bombed his house, right? Fran finally found out from Patrick that it was Nidge that threw the pipe bomb that um, eventually led to his wife's death, right? And, and see the arc then from. Is it Patrick Cooney? The guy who plays Fran, the Octane, is um was spectacular. It really was the 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 face, the, the grief, the the sadness, the anger, the embarrassment, the rage, the still determination, right, for revenge, right? All come through without saying a fucking word. But just through facial expressions, and it was it was special. It was, it was really great. Like, like I said, the sign of a good actor, anybody can read lines. Anybody can read lines that somebody else has written for them. The sign of a good actor is when you can act without saying anything. Right? When you can tell a story with your fucking face, when your face can tell the words on the sheet. Right? And, and so I, that was always spectacularly good and I was so happy for it. Right? Because... I want a, a really dislike Nietzsche a season. Not because of what he is. Like, it's a criminal. I don't give a fuck. It's a criminal. He's, you know, it's not what he is, it's how he does it. It's how he's going to boot things. He's a fucking snake. He really is. He's making, like, um, back in season two, it was like, yeah, get a John Boy. John Boy's erotic and John Boy's this and John Boy's that. Nietzsche is far worse than John Boy. And at least John Boy had control. Right, John Boy had control ever since ever since John Boy's death, it's been a shit show. It's been complete carnage. So Fran finds out about um Linda. Then he's gotta get revenge and the policeman stops somewhere and gun in his car. Right? So it's Fran gonna walk for a while, right? He get in possession of a handgun, repeat offender, he's away for a while. And then Nidge came to visit him in prison. He's like, all right, my old pal. And uh, Fran just jumps over the table and talks to him. Like you would, right? Because right? I thought I thought they were going to sit down and Fran was got it. I know what you did. Kind of thing. But no, fuck up. That's not Fran, is it? Fran's the animal instinct. Attack. Right? Um, so, so I thought that's, um, that was the story of the last episode. Um, it looks like, what's his name? Polly. In uh, Siobhan, Polly and Siobhan are getting out, right? Poor, poor Tommy. Poor Tommy's in a hospital bed. Siobhan's in somebody else's bed. Poor Tommy. Tommy's not had it easy. Tommy's really, really, really not had it easy. But the thought I like him, you know, somebody cheating on Tommy when Tommy's dick has got him in trouble through this whole thing. The irony of him being a commission, somebody cheating him is like, you know, what goes around comes around, brother. But that was episode two, I think. I was at, that's about it done. Um, so this is episode three. This is um, wonderful scar with Franz in prison. Ninja's out of prison. So what's the, what's the storyline from here? Right, I wonder. I wonder, so because the, the storyline of the season is Nitch trying to get back on his feet without getting killed. The issue with the wards, specifically Patrick Ward, in the France situation is in the background. The France situation came at the foreground, but France gone. France out. So I wonder. Um, so let's find out. The wheels were on their own. I know a few of them. Junkies. They wouldn't expect to come from on their own, would they? I'm not using a junkie. There's one or two that's half the gear could do it. What about Fran? Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on it. 
Fo Big Lan Munda Like I didn't care earlier on, but I hope somebody fucking pops Nidge. I really do. Like fuck him. Like he said some story arc, by the way, isn't he? Nidge. He said some uh, story arc. <sighs> he wants it done. He wants it done. Hiya. Hello. Well, look at her. She's Bucky's bedside. Beautiful wife. The other nurse said he opened his eyes. No? Huh? Did he? That's good. The doctor says good, isn't it? Polly. You come in. Mate. Mate. Where are you now? I'm in the hospital. Well, I'll come pick you up. I'll be straight over. No, I'm wrecked. So what else are you going to be doing on a Friday? Come on, I'll pick you up. All right. That's All right. I'll be out now. Can we throw a dentist? Sorry, blame her. Because, you know, Tommy's not exactly been a loving and faithful boyfriend, is he? So, you know. But it's like, oh, the frying pan into the fucking fire, isn't it? The gum ass prick. Blaine Bosman's looking to get a job done for having the joy. Is he making you get yourself banged up to go on and do it? No, he must be brought up to do it. Oh, fuck, I don't get his head down to his time. Fuck's sake. Fuck, I know you do. want something done, he wants it done. Well, you can always tell him to go fuck himself. Huh? Here. Yeah. This will blow your mind. Yeah? Yeah. Relax you as well. Just run it. We'll worry about it in the morning. You know, send Elm up to me, will you? Good man. Send Elm up to me, listen. Him. Fucking Don Corleone. Send Elm up to me. Fucking. Oh, here he is now. Here, we have to head off soon enough. What? Fuck that, I'm wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking. No. <laughs> yeah, come on. One more. Scotty. Yeah, cheers, Edo. Cheers, Edo. Yeah, cheers, Edo. I want you to go hands on, Elmo. You be me eyes and ears. Walks out a serious wedge in the fear. You up for it? Fucking sure I am. With who? Hands on. You'll be taking a risk. Shit's coming in through Polly's guy, and your man Niall picks it up and brings it to his garage. Polly lets you know it's coming in, and you start a gear, whatever the fuck you want. I'll let you know who gets what. I can start that, Nitch. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, Paul. Thank you, Nedge, for the favour, mate. Let me take massive risks with my um, life and um, freedom. Cheers, Paul. Might give me a lift home later. <sighs> yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> All the key do I do? Hmm. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's not got a safe for call, is he? Is he? Has he got to say something? She's a fucking slow. What time you up in hospital? What was that was you when you woke up and every fucking house your mat was getting worried? Oh, look at her. Oh, she's cool. She's videoing everyone. Wow, that's us take a head on the job, right? Are you going to give me that lift? There should be a left or a right. Yeah. Why is she videoing this? Why is she recording it? Get yourself home, Siobhan. You're a fucking disgrace. Yeah. See our youth, Paul? Like, I hate hypocrisy. I really do. Nidge is bong an actual hooker. An actual prostitute. In, in, in he's like, you're a disgrace. Fuck you, mate. I 
I reckon if all is good or bad, to be honest with you, at one point it would have been good. Now I'm not sure. Yeah, you need another one. She needs another one. Another one? Are you fucking mental? Are you off your fucking head? Another one. Oh no. Oh, oh. 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 Oh my God. Thank God she fell backwards, do eh? Fucking hell. Always like a 50 50, wouldn't it? I would take a 50 50. Fall backwards or fall forwards. Garden arms. Yeah. There's 25 of them out with 100 at once. We'll bring them all with you. So if you're caught, which you won't be, you can say you didn't know there was gear in them. <laughs> no, no, they're colour coded. The ones with the blue hats in them is our ones. The red hats are normal ones. Nothing in them. Blue yeah, hats. There's different markings on them. The brown eyes is your brown. And the blue eyes is the oaks, yeah? Look at Elmo, Elmo's, Elmo's got a fuck us up in here. Blue hat, brown eyes gear. Blue hat, blue eyes yolks, yeah? Now fuck off, I'm bollocks. You got it, Elmo. You, you think you can manage? I just want to what about the other garden gnomes? What the fuck, fuck are you me. talking about? The ones with the red hats. We Keep them. them. You're not using them. Yeah. Sell them. Yeah, sell them if you want. Yeah, sell the normal. You fucking tube. There's your one. You, you've got to admire how far she's willing to go, right? I mean, I've helped, I've heard like deep cover, but she is deep, deep cover. She's probably like five and a half inches deep cover. She is, she is willing to suffer for the case. Some fucking job you have, huh? He's done making see the grandkids grow up. You're not last a year. Yeah, but would you use me personal bodyguards? I've a spot and chance, don't I? See ya, you pricks. I mean, he's got a point, isn't he? Like, the police legally have to protect him. If somebody mocked an attempt at him, the police have got to stop it, right? Talking to Patsy? Yeah, I was talking about the text last night and again this morning. Is he the owner? He is, yeah. What's he going to do with? What chance he gets? Right. Patsy versus Fran. Mate, I definitely see his chances really, do you? Fran would snap him in half. She's burying it. I mean, how much was that? I would think a, a, a lot, a lot. Did you see who he was talking to? Yeah. Who? Plaguey Walsh. Plaguey Walsh? The hitman? You're sure? Yeah. Ooh, a hitman. A hitman. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. That thing you said about your man looking for the contractor. Yeah. Yeah, really is. Fucking prick. Patty, you want to hurry it up with the other fella? All right, keep him while you can see him. Yeah, as you think to her, Patsy's um, in for a drug charge for a couple of years. And they want to do something that's got to be like. Years and years, right? Go on, Frog. Go on, Frog. Of course, you all get stopped in the fucking neck. Go on, son. Ooh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my fucking god, you fucking donut. You fucking idiot.
By the way, I've just realized I shout too much on these videos. It's because I'm using like um, noise cancellation earbuds. So for me to hear my voice, I shout, but I'm going to have to stop doing that. Right? Talk normally. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Don. That was completely out of order. You're fucking worse, Siobhan. I'm only trying to help you. My head's fucked up because of Tommy and all that shit. No, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, right, chicken. Come here to me. I mean, she bogged Fran up some alleyway, so you know, no judgment. <laughs> Oh, no way. Man, it's all going down this season, isn't it? Is that got to be a good boy, Dino? I feel sorry for the poor fuck. I'm sorry to what he was told. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Huh? Did the prison not get through to you? No. I feel sorry for the poor fucker. He never touched your brother, mate. What's the hammer did it? You sent a sheep against a fucking wolf. You sent a sheep against Fran. You sent a skin little rat against Fran. You want me to know we need to use them to get the Fran out. Understand? We need to do it off a potsy, don't we? Yeah. Look at the anger he's got, though. Look at um, Edo's anger. And his anger is directed towards the wrong person. Direct your anger to a prick. He did it. He did it. He made you set your brother up. Like, surely he knew. Like, Edo knew. Edo knew what was going to happen. That's why he was so reluctant. There's a sausage pit out the back of here full of horses piss and shite. We're going to fuck you into it now. Come on, grab him there. <sighs> you have one chance to get out of this, so I don't give a bollocks either way. Thought you have it in front of me. The way I can get the Fran. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, you have something for me? Not only Hughes. He's in sweat. Not only Hughes, don't know him, who is he? Not only to knock down Fran's teeth. He knocked his teeth out, so fucking what? Right. I've been only done Fran. Fran. Dug up now, he's mad. Ooh. He pissed on the grave. Ooh. You what? Oh. He dug up his mask grave when he pissed on him. <laughs> and there's no now he done that? No. Right, get him. Wow. I mean, I will get a reaction, right? I just gotta get a big reaction. Times I feel like a motherless child So that was episode three, and uh, that reminded me that, you know, we've never seen Patrick at all in that episode, right? We've never seen Patrick at all in that episode. We've seen him, um, I guess, our episode was just, you know, Siobhan getting further in, and you wonder how much of it is a show, how much of it is for the mission. And like she said, she's having fun, right? She got into intention, like, like she's willing to go so far, so far to catch Nidge, right? And she's, she's um, I think she's kidding herself on that she's doing it for the mission to get Nidge, but she's really enjoying it a bit too much with Polly and she's having fun because, you know, I guess since she had the child and especially since, um, since Tommy's injury, she hasn't had fun at all.
Right, our life's been at Cam miserable. It was this boring. You could say it, right? You should have been babysitting Tommy basically since he got injured, right? And worrying about him constantly. And and Polly is giving her some fun, right? And then you get the Fran situation. And Fran is in prison and Nidge wants him killed. Just like oh, right, get rid of Fran. Um get Potsy to do it. Really. Get Potsy to do it. Potsy, boys, Potsy. Are you fucking mental? And I'm not sure if Edo was hesitant because he didn't want Potsy doing any more time or if he was hesitant because he knew what was going to happen, right? Right? And uh, if what happened, happened. Potsy's lost an eye. Could have been worse. They kidnapped Dean and um, Edo's punched the fuck out of Dean. And say, mate, your anger's directed at the wrong person. Direct your anger at Nidge. Nidge got your brother in this. You got your brother in this. You made him do it. Dad, you got your fucking guilt on Dino. You know, look inwards. Look at yourself in the fucking mirror, mate. You asked him to do it. It's on you, and that's on Nidge. But Nidge just to give a fuck. It's not his brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. And then, I guess we'll know what the next episode's got to be because, um, because, um, Dino told them about the grave in the mother in the piss. So I guess that's got to drive our guy nuts and he's got to want revenge big time. And do you remember um, what I said at the end of season four? I said, oh, isn't it? Like, you know, I don't think Nidge is going to get caught because I couldn't see season five in a prison show. Well, it actually isn't. It? Like, it's half a prison show. And the prisons look fucking grim, right? Nino has modernised, underfloor heated football pitches, Flat screen TVs here, no proper prisons the way they should be, in my opinion. Right? So, uh, it's episode three. We're on episode four. We are past that uh, is the halfway line, right? That uh, is the halfway line. What do we think's gonna happen? Um, is Fran gonna be able to survive two prison attacks? Right? I don't think so because if Fran was gonna fight the guy off. If Fran was going to get away with it, they would have made him the, the fight, right? The fact that they made Potsy attack him and you see Fran fighting him off, I think means that the next one is not going to be so lucky, I feel like. Which is unfortunate, because I like Fran. Fran's like my favourite character at this point. Like, least, least hated, right? Because the rest of them are. Um, so, uh, as, as, as far as my psychic powers go, Nidge uh, says... Like I said, Ninja's not having fun at all. He's, he's, you know, be careful what you ask for. I wouldn't be kingpin. Heavy weighs the crown, mate. Heavy weighs the fucking crown. King Ninja. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing, for watching, for commenting, for sharing, for everything else. The guys on Patreon, appreciate you. Um, links in the description below. It's one point a month for some, like, you know, for some extra stuff. In some early access. Well, I'm yawning. I'm tired. Um, so, that's it for me, and I'll catch you in the next one.